Okay, now I want to talk about a tool that has been used by these big organizations, such as the USAID. And this is the use of indi indicator tracking tables. So indicator tracking tables are simply what you see in front of you. I've added the source of where I got this tracking table. I didn't really have time to come up with my own. I would have done so, but uh, I think this is okay. I know it's okay because I have, I've referenced it. So if you look at the indicator tracking table, what do you see, guys? You can see that um, it's actually a good tool to in, include in your report, especially the monitoring report. Maybe not too much of the evaluation report. This thing, when you put it in the, the monitoring report, it's easy for management just to see in a, in a summary form what is taking place regarding all the indicators. So let's look at that activity, which is called the Centralized Irrigation System Rehabilitation Activity 1. So they've got the indicator. I'll, I'll talk about the output in the indicator. Okay, don't look at the outcome, look at the output, which says Centralized Irrigation Systems Rehabilitated. So basically what they are saying here is the project, I don't know, I don't know about this project. I didn't have time to read it, but I can already see what it's all about. So they are saying that how many irrigation systems have been um, rehabilitated? So at the start of the project, the baseline is zero. But then the Okay, here they don't have a yearly target of how many they want to rehabilitate, but which is good if they had it. Obviously, there are reasons why they didn't. So they, let's say the yearly target was to rehabilitate 20 irrigation systems. So meaning that that yearly target, you see, it would be at the, it will indicate 20 for that indicator. Then when you do the quarterly monitoring, You'll be, you'll be checking how many were irrigated. Now, my, you know, it's not easy to do this project sometimes because when you do the monitoring, you, you may expect that, okay, I want to find the numbers of rehabilitations done. But when you go in the field, you just find that the rehabilitation is, uh, is, has started but has not been completed. You go quarter one, 20 rehabilitations have started, but they've not been completed. You go to quarter two, it's still work in progress. Maybe in quarter three, then you'll find only three have been uh, rehabilitated. So what I'm saying here is that when you're reporting, even if it has started, for as long as it hasn't com been completed, you don't register it as the results achieved. So this indicator uh, tracking table, you put it, you can actually put it somewhere in the monitoring report. I usually like to place it uh, after the, or, or before the introduction. It's more like an executive summary of what is taking place for the pro in the project. Okay, so guys, thank you so much for this time we spent together. So in case you have any questions, Please write to me. I'll be happy to get back to you. If I don't write, write to you, please uh, just keep on uh, sending emails. Sometimes I miss these emails because of the, the overwhelming response I receive from different people. I've been your host, Coach Alexander, and see you on the other side. Bye.